Brevin, as you all know, we have three officials. And a soda bon time. They have been assigned by the NBA. Rodney Mott in his 23rd season. Ben Taylor in his eighth. Evan Scott in his second NBA season. Uh, it's a bonus you get some on the inside. But Memphis gets up and down the floor. So when they get in transition, that those points at the bank, at the basket should be counted. They pounded the Spurs last night, 133-102. And Tillman misses. Both these teams are fifth in their respective conferences. Four of those losses came without Moran, who suffered an ankle injury early in the year as Sabonis has the field goal and a timeout taken by Memphis. Sabonis and Brooks jump it up. And the Pacers have it. Sabonis, shot clock at six. Oh my, got his own rebound. Did a good job going to follow up. Sabonis, shot clock at six. Oh my, got his own rebound. Did a good job going to follow up. Sabonis, shot clock at six. Oh my, got his own rebound. Did a good job going to follow up. If you don't, you put Miles Turner at a significant disadvantage. Remember, he fouled out of the game. Sabonis was 0 for 5 Sunday against Philadelphia. Sabonis was 0 for 5 Sunday against Philadelphia. Morant has it knocked away. I mean, Justin Holiday had to get fouled because that hit the side of the backboard. Yeah, he's too good a shooter for the ball to go that crooked. Here's Clark. And Sabonis has it. Desmond Bain out of Richmond, Indiana is in. Love to scramble on the defense. Shot clock's at three. Same zone we saw Philadelphia no, use not. Sunday it, night. No, 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 Barton. It's a little different. different? Yeah, it's different because they'll have somebody point the ball right over. Almost got another steal by McConnell. This is a little different zone, much smaller up top as Sabonis splits the defense and scores. Oh, my goodness. And that's no good. He was at the rim, Tillman. And he was challenged. You know, got to give Doug McDerm uh, McDermott some credit. He was challenged. Yeah. Yeah. I am telling you, he is unbelievably strong. Thank goodness he missed that. Brogdon no good, that's put in on the rebound by Sabonis and Taylor Jenkins wants a timeout. Brogdon no good, that's put in on the rebound by Sabonis and Taylor Jenkins wants a timeout. You most certainly have to use it as a learning experience. What you cannot take for granted though is you're 10 games shorter in terms of the season. So you don't want to give those, make that a habit. And I think all of that has just made the Pacers a lot more focused is you're 10 games shorter in terms of the season. So you don't want to give those, make that a habit. And I think all of that has just made the Pacers a lot more focused. He got it to roll in, Sabonis. They are second in the league in steals, 10 per game. A couple of threes to start the game. He has eight. Uh, Coach, Coach Nate had a tough situation. He had to figure out, he wants to get his starting lineup back on. And TJ struggled with that a little bit, but, it, but you want to make sure you keep him ready when you're going to need some energy. S quick hands by Sabonis. Sabonis got it back. Justin Holiday for three. Look at Sabonis fight, and he got it! Justin Holiday for three. Look at Sabonis fight, and he got it! Did a terrific job. He was looking for something entirely different before he knew it. He had the ball, and it was in the basket. Good closeout by McDermott. And the basket and a foul. That's a Gonzaga Bulldog. That's static, and you've got to make adjustments. Sabonis. Got a break, and then threw it away. He jumped in the air, and he ended up. And he misses the jumper. And now Sabonis, he's hit a three tonight. Make it a second. Need to close out this half, Chris. 
with a strong left hand. Look who's there. Yeah, I mean, you, I mean, it's good to see that, but you need to close out this half. You need to close out this half, Chris. With a strong left hand. Look who's there. Yeah, I mean, you, I mean, it's good to see that, but you need to close out this half. Brogdon. Turner. Great pass. I said at the end, I think it's really important to get off to a good start because th this team offensively had some reason to be a little uncomfortable based on the, the fourth quarter of the last game. Second three for Brogdon. He has 16. The Pacers have hit 10. And Sabonis grabs his 12th rebound. Lamb turns the corner. Sabonis is there. And Turner for three. That's the start you want. Four years at San Antonio, a couple of years at UCLA. In the middle of the pain, he had it knocked away. Well, this is the kind of thing he had happened to him, Chris, uh, in the game the other night. Pacers won both games against Memphis a year ago. What a pass into Sabonis. Lamb pushes. Well, I like the fact they're letting them play. Four of them tonight for Jeremy Lamb. Shot clock at six. Sabonis. And yep. he got it. Yep. Got it to go. Got away with one. Got it to go. And Sabonis tried to spin one too many times. A sixth assist for Sabonis, who has 28 points and 12 rebounds. And that's a loose ball foul. Yeah, I mean, that's one for each finger on a hand. You're right. Melton is off. 10 of 11 from the field. He's 12 of 14 tonight. That's what Nate Bjorgren. And a chance for his second 30-point game of the year. And these half court set opportunities. Ja draws a foul. Indiana had one to give. Aaron Holiday. Bucks and Pacers. Last year it happened in New Orleans. Aaron leaves it off. Sabonis has 31. Find ways to make a contribution. You come off the bench. It's the 61st consecutive game with at least 20 assists. And that is the longest active streak.